Hey friendlies, it's Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. I just want to do a quick update for you today for everyone who has been so thoughtful and kind in sending me messages and comments and emails worried about me being in the path of Hurricane Irma. I just want to let you know that I have traveled far enough west that I'm barely going to get touched by it. It looks like I might just get a couple days of rain next week. But I am still keeping my eye out. I just want to make sure it doesn't shift pass or anything like that and I am more than prepared to drive as long as I need to drive to make sure that um, I'm not in a hurricane. <laughs> uh, the last thing I want is to be in a hundred plus mile an hour winds and rain and crazy craziness in Matilda. Uh, you might remember last year when I was in the desert, especially when I was in, where was I, Marble Canyon, and I did that video about the crazy wind. Wind is is not my favorite thing in an RV. <laughs> so I am doing everything I can to avoid being in anything that resembles a hurricane. And I wanted to put your mind at ease about that because so many of you have really expressed genuine concern. I also just wanna let you know, uh, I have a couple of ways that I do keep in touch with people kind of daily updates and that is if you if you don't want to do patreon which I do do updates and and have interactions with individuals on patreon but if you don't want to do that I also do Facebook um, and probably that's the 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 other social media network where I am most active and uh, cause I have several thousand followers on Facebook. So I know a lot of you are there as well. And I might just do a post. I think I did one the other day just to say, Hey, thank you for your concern. I'm safe. So follow me on Facebook. There's a link in the header on my homepage of YouTube. If you want to know what's going on for with me on a regular, more of a regular basis than you get here and you don't want to join Patreon, Facebook is a place that you can get some updates about, about what's going on in my life. And uh, also for those of you who are might be in the path of Irma, those of you in Florida, South Carolina, and Georgia, be safe. I'm thinking about you. My thoughts are with you. I hope that you have done everything that you can to prepare. If you're staying, if you've evacuated, I hope that you have gone to a safe place and have been able to get out. I've been watching the news and the lines getting out of Florida, oh my gosh, are insane, and the fuel shortages and all kinds of craziness going on. So it's, uh, I think we're, a lot of us are gonna be on pins and needles the next few days watching to see the impact of the storm on Florida. So be safe, everyone. I'm thinking about you and, and just do what you need to do to take care of yourself and be safe and stay out of harm's way, okay? And uh, a couple other things. Yeah, I got my hair cut yesterday and it is already starting to fade and I like it a little bit better. I'm kind of liking the dark hair. And a couple of you have pointed out it's kind of almost like a creative artsy look. I kind of like it. And uh, I've been working on some videos. I know that I've been doing, um, I've been doing a lot of travel videos and have missed doing like how-to videos and you know typical Carolyn visit videos you know heart to hearts and stuff like that so stay tuned Sunday night I have a, a video about relationships and the no and the solo nomad that I think you're going to be very interested in I give some personal information in that tell a little bit of my personal story so watch for that on Sunday night I'm working on one now I'm hoping to have up by tomorrow morning and that's how I get internet on the road as a uh, digital nomad packed with a ton of great information about how I stay connected. Cell phone signal, internet, my data plan, satellite internet, apps, websites. I cover a whole bunch of stuff in the video, so that's coming out tomorrow. And I hope that, uh, I hope that if you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button here to be notified of those videos and more great fun and travel videos. Also, I could probably say the same thing in every single video, and I know that not everybody watches every video. Shame on you, you should be watching every video. <laughs> uh, my videos are not always in order, especially my travel videos. I have literally hundreds of hours or hundreds of hours of footage from my travels, and uh, I edit videos pretty much five, six days a week, sometimes seven days a week, and I'm still behind. So yes, you'll notice my hair looks different in every video lately because I dyed my hair, what, two weeks ago now? So the earlier videos of my travels, I'm literally about three weeks behind on the travel videos. And 
So yeah, they're out of order and there's partly a time delay for my safety. I've always done a, a, at least a week time delay for my safety. So you all saw the video a couple days ago about me being in Tennessee and that's when a lot of the concern came in that I might be in, in the path of the hurricane. I am no longer in Tennessee. I'm out of harm's way. And I just want to reiterate, no, my videos are not, they're in so the travel videos are in chronological order. So when you see, you, yeah, usually when you see a travel video with the pretty sights and the music and the places I visit, those I try to do in, in chronological order. But my channel is about more than just the travel videos, the how-to videos, videos like this, the real-time updates, the heart-to-heart the -heart talks, the real talk videos. Those are kind of more spur of the moment when I'm feeling it. I'll turn on the camera and talk. And those, uh, I, I intersperse into my travel videos so that you get some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Variation? That's not the word I'm looking for. You know the word I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. It's driving me nuts. All right, but probably when I'm editing this, I'm gonna have to do a little editing. I'll think of it and I'll put it in the captions. But if not, a million of you will know exactly what I'm thinking of and you'll put it in the comments. <laughs> but anyway, that's my update for you. I'm safe. I hope all of you are safe. Be careful out there. Please be careful out there. I hope those of you who were told to evacuate did evacuate. I saw some crazy SOB <laughs> yesterday on the news, although I can relate, lives on a sailboat in uh, in the Keys or Miami, and he's just, he and his friends decided to stay in a sailboat during the hurricane, and they knew it was going to hit. Yeah, I can kind of relate to that kind of thinking. He figured, uh, he weighed his options and figured that his safest bet was going to be to stay on the boat. So uh, I hope everybody's not that crazy. <laughs> I hope that um, those of you who are supposed to get out got out and you're in some place safe and uh, uh, just thinking about you. Just want you to know I'm thinking about you. All right. Thank you all very, very much for being here, for being a part of my adventures and for supporting me. Be safe out there. And until next time, be happy. Be free and be kind. I will see you down the road.